and welcome to Space Engine. This is Anton and today we're going to be taking a look at Wolf Riot Stars. We're going to uh, browse around the Space Engine and try to find uh, as many of them as we can. And in this video, which is part two of the previous video where I explored the Wolf Riot Stars and explained them a little bit to you in, in Universe Unbox 2, is going to be essentially just a visual exploration of these really unusual, really massive, really bright and really, really hot stars. Welcome to What the Math. Now, so first and foremost, I actually only know of three Wolf Riot stars in Space Engine, even though in our galaxy there is something like um, basically 500. I was not able to find any more of them, but if you do find more than you see in this video, please post them in the comments below because I would like to explore them as well. Um, one thing uh, right off the bat uh, is that Wolf Riot stars are usually designated as WR, and so there's only one that shows up. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Um, uh, but other than that, there's actually nothing here. And if you try to use the the star browser in filter settings, is, there's unfortunately no Wolf Riot stars anywhere. You won't be able to find them this way as well. You might be able to find them by main sequence if you look up all of the um, old type stars, but it's kind of difficult because they're actually not very common. They're very rare. All right, so let's go to our first one. And the first one we're going to start with is um, actually not in our galaxy. It's uh, in a nearby galaxy called um, a Large Magellanic Cloud. This is the most massive star known to us. I actually may have made a mistake in my previous video when I, said, when I actually said that this was inside our galaxy, but it's not. This star, I'm going to zoom out for a second. This star is actually inside the Large Magellanic Cloud, a nearby galaxy very close to us. So this star is about 230,000 light years away from us, and it's known as R136A1. R136A1 is essentially um, a massive Wolf Riot star that's about 260 masses of the sun. It's ridiculously hot, it's ridiculously bright, but we don't really know much else about it because it's so far away from us. Uh, we think that it may not actually be spherical. This might actually look like an egg or not even an egg or just some weird shape because it is so massive that it has nuclear fusion going on everywhere. There's like, so for our sun, nuclear fusion only goes on in the center where um, hydrogen is combined into helium. Here, there's uh, a lot of different things going on everywhere. Uh, here's actually um, a fusion steps that you can take a look at so essentially these elements start combining to each other until iron and iron doesn't actually have any fusion anymore so everything stops at iron right in the middle and when there is nothing else left to combine eventually the star um, explodes collapses and creates a type 2b supernova uh, so this is essentially the future of most if not all wolf riot stars a lot of them will essentially just die create a huge explosion and form um, a, a nebula They'll actually form a very beautiful nebula, and many nebula were actually formed that way. So as a matter of fact, if I were to go to one of the more famous nebulas known as Orion Nebula, um, you would see that um, they usually have nothing in the middle. That's because there's probably a black hole or possibly a neutron star in there that uh, was at some point a wolf riot star. So... Just to clarify, so what exactly are these Wolf Riot stars? Well, they're just stages of life in uh, in the life of very massive main sequence stars. Many, many, many O-type stars, which are very common in our galaxy, um, have actually become Wolf Riot stars at some point. They start spewing out massive amounts of gas. They start spewing out massive amounts of energy and ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet light is essentially what creates this glow. Uh, in a nebula as well, and uh, be eventually, because of the um, energy that's been released, they essentially just uh, exploded, collapsed, and created uh, these nebula. Now, not all nebulae were formed this way, and we'll talk more about nebulas later on, but uh, some of the nebula are actually formed by these dying um, Wolf Riot stars that were exploded and uh, created some kind of a black hole in the middle. And the reason why these Wolf Riot stars are so important and the reason why um, uh, nebula and supernova are so important is because th these nebula later actually form new stars. And so our sun was created as a result of uh, a supernova that created a nebula that then somewhere in the middle created our sun. So 
our sun at some point was actually very likely part of um, a very massive star and also very likely a part of um, a wolf riot star as well so it's kind of all connected it's kind of kind of all related to each other as well anyway let's go to our next star uh that's, this one is going to be inside our um, galaxy and this one is really easy to find if you just type wr and uh, it's called wr145a which i actually found completely by accident when looking for neutron stars i'm going to slow down this a little bit so you get to see what it's like so this is a binary star and there's a wolf riot uh 145a uh, which is actually a type WN class um, Wolf Riot star. WN stands for the fact that it mostly emits, uh, em or its emission lines are mostly composed of helium and nitrogen. There's several types of Wolf Riot stars. There's three main types. WN emits helium and nitrogen. Um, WC emits carbon and um, oxygen and hydrogen. And WO is mostly um, oxygen. And uh, this one is um, WN. And it actually has a very beautiful neutron star orbiting around it. And this is what the neutron star looks like. This is actually real time. Um, so this is a very, very fastly spinning neutron star, which is very likely to be a pulsar. If you go, come to the site here, you'll see some really crazy um, lensing effects. As soon as it actually flies past the wolf Riot star, you'll see some really awesome effects. I'm going to accelerate this a little bit. And right about now, you'll see, that. there you go. That's a pretty awesome effect. And so uh, these two stars are essentially orbiting around one another very, very closely. Um, and uh, at some point, this Wolf Riot star is going to lose its outer shell, is going to go through supernova, create, very likely create a black hole. And um, this neutron star is probably going to uh, move a little bit farther away because obviously there's not enough mass orbiting here now. Um, and uh, they'll most likely create a binary black hole neutron star system, which is actually very rare, and we are always, always looking for them because they will allow us to explore so many different um, gravitational theories, and we'll be able to explore more things and learn more things about our universe if there's, if there's actually a neutron star and a black hole orbiting around one another. And so this particular star is actually really interesting and definitely check it out in Space Engine. And uh, the last one I found is um, actually the brightest uh, wolf Riot star in our night sky. You can see it with a naked eye and it's called Gamma Tuvalorum. Now to find it, you have to type GAM and then you have to look uh, or scroll down until you find Gamma Velorum. Or you can, I think you can actually type GAM2. Can you type GAM2? There we go, GAM2. GAM2 Velorum, there you are. So this right here is the brightest Wolf Riot star in our um, night sky. It's only about uh, 14 times the mass of sun. It's still very hot. It's still very large, still very massive, and it's still going to explode and produce a supernova, just not as massive as those other two stars I just showed you. Now, Gamma Tuvalorum is uh, quite far away from us, but um, because of its brightness and because of its heat, it, it actually you can easily see this star from really far away. So if I move away really far and basically reach our planet Earth, I'll still be able to see this because it's it's a very, very, very bright star. And other than the fact that it's bright, it's hot, and it's a Wolf Riot star, we don't really know much about it. Um, so there's really nothing else to say about this star, unfortunately, other than, of course, exploring it and maybe let's try to land inside of it. Let's see what happens when we go inside of the star. Uh, now, there's a bunch of other stars that are known to us, and we actually have names for them. Like, for example, there's a star called Theta Muscae, and there's a star called VFTS682 that are also very, uh, very famous. And this is inside the Wolf Riot star. Uh, I think I'm stuck now. Can I get out? No, let me out. I don't want to die here. Uh, but, but yeah, unfortunately, those stars don't actually... Um, exist or possibly have not been added to Space Engine yet because when I try to type Theta uh, and Muskai spell, spell like this, it's not actually showing up. Neither is VFTS. So maybe they are not here or maybe I'm just not familiar with their other names. Uh, but uh, there's definitely a lot of other Wolf Riot stars out there. But if you do find them by accident in um, Space Engine, consider yourself to be very lucky because there's only about 500 of them in the whole Milky Way. That's not many. Only 500 of them. But the, since they're so bright, they're actually quite easy to see. So sometimes you'll see a very, very bright star, 
like let's just see if this is not that's not a star that's a cluster uh if you see a very bright star and you come close to it and it turns out to be a little star you're super lucky you found one of the not so many wolf Riot stars out there uh this is a blue main sequence that's a o type that's not exactly wolf Riot, but uh, this is essentially how you can try to find them because I don't think there's any other way of doing it If you know of some other way of finding Wolf Riot stars in Space Engine Please post them in the comments below because I would love to actually find more and explore them in a future video as well And before we actually finish this video, let's actually go back to the original supermassive Wolf Riot star that we started with R136A And uh, just take a look at it in a, one more time So one thing I didn't actually mention yet, and one thing you should, you should really think about is why are these stars important? So what is so special about them? So first of all, what these are showing us is the end stage of a life of a massive star. So most, if not all, massive stars will have this stage at some point. They'll have this really crazy uh, explosive stage, and then they'll actually explode, create a supernova, and um, that supernova will eventually create new stars, new planets, and essentially uh, will start new cycle again. Now, at some point, our sun was created by such a supernova. At some point, our, our, our Earth and everything on Earth was inside one supermassive star as well. And so when you really think about it, all of us, you and I, have actually been a star at some point. We were part of a star. And also at some point, all of us were part of the same star. We were all of us inside the same star. Uh, the material inside of um, our bodies is made inside of one of these supermassive stars, and especially the heavier elements, because they're not produced in any other way. They're usually produced by supernova explosions and inside of these supermassive stars as well. And so after the star exploded, after its death, it actually created new life on our planet Earth. Obviously, billions of years later, but nevertheless, it doesn't change the fact that these stars are super important and they actually kind of continue the cycle of creation of stars, creation of planets, and creation of new uh, nebula and new systems as well. And so when you kind of think about it, in, in a way, all of us are totally connected. Not only are we connected, but we're actually connected to the stars close to us as well, because uh, it's very likely that stars very close to us, like for example, Alpha Centauri, have also been made of the same material from the same Wolf Riot star that exploded a long time ago. And so we're basically all made from the same material, from the same stuff. Think about it, it's kind of deep. Anyway, I'm going to stop here, and in the next video, we'll possibly explore more of these Wolf Riot stars if we discover more of them in Space Engine. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you still haven't liked this video, if you've enjoyed watching it, and share this with your friends if you think they'll like watching space videos as well. I'll see you in the next video where we talk about something else related to space. Game you later, guys. Bye-bye.